Hello and welcome to STEM Club. In today's STEM Club, we've got a brilliant experiment for you to try all about the digestive system. To start with, we've got a plate of food here ready for our yummy lunch to be eaten. And we're gonna find out what happens to it inside the body. So to do that, we've got what we call a model of the digestive system. So this is trying to show some of the processes that happen. So I've got a bowl labeled mouth and I've got a potato masher, which is my teeth. We've also got four different coloured liquids. So we've got some stomach acid that I've dyed green, some saliva that's blue, some enzymes that's yellow, and some bile that's an orange colour. So that's just coloured water we're using there. We've also got our esophagus here, which is just a thin tube and a funnel that's going to help get things into our esophagus there. And then we've got our stomach, which I've just got as a plastic bag some intestines which is a pair of tights we've got a body which is our tray here and a toilet to finish which is just a plastic pot so if you would like to follow along at home those are the bits you need to get ready but if not you can just watch and see what happens inside your digestive system so we're going to start as we normally do in a meal, by cutting up all our food into smaller pieces. And so we're just gonna cut this up with a knife and fork before we put it into our mouths. So I've got my bowl as my mouth and I'm gonna tip all this food in and give it a good mash up. There we go, so imagine that's my mouth. And then I'm just gonna get my masher and mash it all up inside the mouth here with my teeth just like you do inside chomping away and your teeth are designed for different purposes so there's different teeth that help grind and cut up your food inside your mouth now also in your mouth you have some saliva so you might feel that in your mouth sometimes so i'm going to add some of our blue saliva here and that's starting the process of breaking down the food further because the saliva has enzymes in it and that's a word we're going to say a lot because they're important in the digestive process the easiest way to describe enzymes is like a little pair of scissors that helps cut up your food into really really small pieces because they're so small even we can't see them you might also have a drink with your lunch sometimes. So we'll add a bit of water to help that digestion and get it down into our stomach. Once your food has been all smushed up by your teeth, where does it go next? Well, you'll normally feel it going down the back of your throat and that's where it goes down a pipe called your esophagus. And it goes straight down your esophagus into your stomach. So I'm going to get my stomach ready here. This is my stomach bag. And then I'm going to carefully swallow my food that I've cut up in my mouth here. So we'll see how well the cutting up process has gone. I don't want to choke on any of my food. So we've put all of our food into our stomach. So we've swallowed it down from the mouth, down through the esophagus. And then inside our stomach, we have stomach acid. So our stomach acid is very, very acidic. It's almost a one or a two. So it's highly acidic when I add this. This is just water. This has several purposes. One is the acid helps to break down any bacteria that you might have swallowed on your food so it doesn't harm you. But it also allows the enzymes in your stomach to work and break down the food further. So if we add a few enzymes here, and remember we just spoke about enzymes earlier, they are like small scissors that help to break down your food. And then your stomach will churn away all of this food for, it can, for up to six to 12 hours. It sits in there for a really long time, churning away to again get it to break down even more. Inside the stomach, you can also add some bile. And bile helps break down the fats in your food. So if there's any fat in your food, that helps break it down further. 
Right, once you have churned up all the food in your stomach and added your enzymes and your bile, it's then time to put it through the intestines. Now you have two lots of intestine, a small intestine and a large intestine. The small intestine is where the food first starts. There are even more enzymes in the small intestine which breaks down your food even further. Any food that's been broken down enough then gets absorbed by long fingers called villi. That helps give a large surface area and it also is very close to the bloodstream. So food can be absorbed straight into your bloodstream and get around the body where it needs to go. So next we're going to put our food from our stomach into our intestines and we're going to see if we've got any food been broken down enough to be absorbed into our body. Now you might even want to just cut a hole in the bottom of your bag because obviously it goes out the bottom of the stomach not the top. This would be thrown off again. I've done it this way. Okay, so put our stomach to one side and then put all of our food into our intestines. Some of the food that has broken down small enough is passing through these intestine walls and being absorbed into the body. And this will go straight into the bloodstream and then be taken around the body to where it needs to be. Things like proteins that you need for growth, things like carbohydrates you need for energy, all sorts of things that you're getting from your food. So if we give it a big squeeze, Oh, we can see all of those lovely nutrients. After it's gone through the small intestine, the food passes through the large intestine for anything left that hasn't been digested. Here, any excess water is absorbed. And then finally, you might get the feeling you need to go to the toilet and it passes out of your body any food that hasn't been absorbed as our waste. Thank you so much for joining us for STEM Club. We've got plenty more activities and worksheets for you to try at home to learn more about the digestive system. So do take a look on the Twinkle website and we'll see you again soon for more STEM fun.